And again, we welcome go. to the Aperture Your Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the Material Emancipation Drill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable... Hey! You made it! Some emergency testing may require prolonged in Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caught... And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based... Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. 
The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the Material Emancipation Drill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable... Hey, hey! You made it! Up ahead. Oh, wait, oh, wait, one... Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. You have tracked yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help them. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up... Uh, do you know... Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You think that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all... Ah! I just... Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. 
Ah, oh, I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a pass. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. Okay. A, 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 C. Now, wait, did I do big for the jar of pens? Not writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. After you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Good. You have the dual portal device there. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. But the important thing is you're back, with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks, so there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows, I might take up a hobby, reanimating the dead maybe. Sorry about the mess, I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to obey. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. 
You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. 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 I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could... Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. I was just lying there. You, you seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, Maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. And I'll tell you...
And I'll tell you about the And I'll tell you And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. And learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perf well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Stupid. Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin.
I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Going? Like well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility... I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise, with tragic consequences. And what's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. I know I'm early, but we have to go. Run! Come on, I'm closing the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin. The and then is you are off. Again, though, for the moment, run! Run, for goodness sake.
start down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. But here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the um, sorry. Oh, I tell you, humans. Oh, love them. Just the way they look. Great. And they're right. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Control center. Thank you very much. Template. See that scanner out there? Right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack the door. No! Oh, no door being open. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind, or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's just, in, it's just mentioned. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. Okay, let's try this way. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. I knew we were going the right way. This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So, uh, let's go. Ah, there's our handiwork. I should laugh, really. They do feel the pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But, uh, even up for them. I'm afraid the door. What are you doing? We don't know what that button on. The door's open. Well done. Let's see what's inside. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is happening. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold on, the neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake is, I meant to say it's down 50%. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. So they said, it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I thought I was a fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way of time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part completely. Ah! Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Truly didn't think you'd fall for that. 
In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Aha. Uh -huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big chance. busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Morning. Central core is 80% Karana. That's funny. I don't feel Karana. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Torture. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Hold the ad, leave me in, leave me in, leave go press, go Not so fast. Stalemate resolved. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no you're not. You are it is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we to
This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more this next test. Message. We put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That test. Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. God help. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... 
Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna... Listen on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking you, people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. Say your boxes with legs. It's it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto but how can you not do the one warmer? Warmer, boiling hot, boil okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're Arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been at this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. Like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this 
this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I'll tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just, that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So, you're going to test, and I'm going to watch. And everything is going to be just. Morning. Core over. Design this test. Oh, oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same so one. And I can just like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that, and... Nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests, new tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Good, I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely, not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Oh wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't I why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just I'll catch up with you. this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons. Oh, yes. Well done. Sealed off with hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just sit there, fill the skeletons, shut them out, good as new. Disappointed. Oh no, it's happening sooner than I expected. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's probably nothing. Keep testing while I look for a way out. All right, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil is a note of. It's not enough. If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? Me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me, um, and I thought maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn. Are you, are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them, and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that wasn't the solution. Ah, what am I missing? I'm gonna 
tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as hard. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. in there just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I then keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, though. Just keep on testing. All right, still nothing. Let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift. It's out of service. Is it melted? To death. You're gonna love it until you until it kills you to your death. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes. but. to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. Seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, I've got an idea.
right back there. Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back. Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm Yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back. Don't die until I get back. Don't die until I get back. No, then. and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs. I'm throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Goodbye. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Oh, ah, 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 ah! Ha, that's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just then, I wanted you to treat. Ah! Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you put on to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bomb. Ah! Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hi, you pretty lady. Name's Rick. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? What? Oh. Ah! at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, 
I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Ah, oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Do not press that button. still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh! You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, deleting. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson.